Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the channel. I am the Vigilante Crafter, and this is episode five of my survival series world. Folks, thank you so much for the views and the comments and the likes from the last episode. I really appreciate that. So what are we going to do today? That is that is the question. What are we going to do today? We are going to make, don't tell the animals this, but we are going to make some animal crushers, and it's going to involve pigs, sheep, and cows. And as you can see, over my head behind me we definitely have the sheep and the cows but we're gonna have to go get two pigs which shouldn't be a problem i i do know where some pigs at i just haven't brought them back yet then after we get the pigs we'll bring we'll have the two pigs here we're gonna go ahead and make a little carrot farm very similar to our wheat farm you know pigs eat carrots so that's how we're gonna you know breed them second part we're gonna build out tents just like the one that I'm standing on right now. Let me just actually, let me just flip around here real quick. So we have the entrance to this tent. We'll turn this into an animal crusher. So we're going to modify it a little bit. I figure, you know, folks, I figured it'd be fine since we, we tend to sleep in the cave now. And that, that rest area for, you know, the miner's rest area seems to work out really well for us. And so here is the entrance to another tent that we're going to build. And then another tent right here. So we'll have a total in three. And we'll do something like, you know, the cows here, the sheep here, and the pigs there. I, I think it's going to work out just absolutely fabulous. And then right in here will be our carrots too as well. I am absolutely excited for this episode. Why? Because, because Vigil's finally going to have a sustainable food source. And I, I won't have to keep axing the cows, right? <laughs> the, the cow crusher will work. I'll have a pig crusher and I'll have a sheep crusher. It, 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 absolutely awesome. And some other items we'll get, we'll end up getting leather and we'll also get blocks of wool, which is, you know, it's an offshoot of, of, of the animal crushers, which is nice, you know. So I, th I think that's going to be absolutely awesome. So folks, let me do this. I am going to run off in that direction for a little bit and I'm going to bring back two sheep, not two sheep, sorry. I'm going to bring back two pigs. And when I get the two pigs back here, or if there's anything exciting that happens on, that happens here, I will update you immediately. I'll see you soon, folks. Thank you so much. Folks, welcome back. Unfortunately, I have not left to go get the pigs yet. Why? Because I only had two carrots. So I built the, the carrot crops here, the carrot little farm. And now we're building this out and I've used some bone meal to expand it a little bit. Now I have enough carrots to go get those pigs. So I already have one pig. Unfortunately, I don't have any leads to bring two at a time. So I'm going to have to bring these pigs back one at a time. Hopefully that pig is still around. That's right up on the hill there when I get back here. Alrighty, just wanted to update you folks. See you soon. Fortunately, we have ice and we, uh, we can get back to the base pretty quick with the boat. So I do have one pig, and now we just got to get the pig into the animal pen. Come on, little guy. You can do it. Yeah, see? The, the pig loves me, folks. The pig loves me. Look at this. Look at this. So he just keeps following me, you know, due to the carrot. Hopefully we have enough room for you. Come on in here. There we go, folks. See how that works out? All taken care of. All taken care of. All right, folks, I'm going to go back and get that other pig. Folks, we're just cruising around here looking for a pig. Hopefully it happens soon. There we go. Look at that, folks. There's one pig. There's two pigs. We only need one. And I'm not going to lie. We don't want to get two pigs in the boat because then I can't get home. Let's see what we could do here. Should be pretty easily. Come on. Come on. Get in the boat. Thank you, thank you. All right, folks, I'll see you back at the base. All right, folks, welcome back. As you can see, we have our second pig. So I'm going to uh, put this pig into the animal pen as well. Now, folks, just to let you know, that animal pen is going to be gone. As soon as we get our animal crushers built out in our tents, we will go ahead and uh, move that animal pen because I, I have a I have a different idea for that area now that we're going to have three tents surrounding the area along with the uh, the mining tunnel entrance. I figured we could put the campfire and some benches in the middle there or maybe come up with something else. But the animal pen is now it's going to be in the way, but we're going to use it for now until uh, we build out these uh, animal crushers of mine. Let's get turned around here. And... Come on, little guy. You got to follow me in. Let's go. 
So, folks, you know, not that bad with the ice. I mean, it got, it got back and forth pretty quickly due to the ice. And uh, I have to say, you know, I'm, I'm not doing too bad in this in this biome. I've, again, I've, I've said this before, but I've never... I have never started off in a snowy type biome. And this is my, you know, since this is my first time, it's, it's, it, you know, it's been a little different for me. It has. It's been a little different for me. But you know what? It seems to be working out rather well as far as travels are concerned with the boat and the ice method. So, folks, now that we have the two pigs, and I, I, they're just, wow, okay. I, they, the pigs love me. The cows love me. The sheep love me. I, I, I mean, they're, they're, I, I don't know why they like me so much, but... <laughs> Well, Vigil, you're holding the carrots. That That's true. I am holding the carrots. But anyway, folks, so now that we got the two pigs and we have the carrot farm growing, let's, let's get going on the tents. So what I'm going to do first, I, I'm just going to clean up the area. So we got to take down the oak trees and then, uh, you know, kind of gather some materials to make sure I have enough materials, uh, wood and wool blocks. I'm going to get all that stuff into my inventory, and then I'm going to meet back up with you folks, okay? Alrighty, folks, welcome back. I believe I have all the materials to build out the, the, the second and third tent. But the one thing I do need to do is we need to extend the tent by one block, because I want to do three crushers in each tent with each animal. So to give you an example of that, if we come into here, get rid of the bed, we'll get rid of these. So we only have, so if you go one, two, three, four, so I only have enough space to do like say a crusher here and a crusher here and I can't do one in the middle because I don't have five blocks. So I need to extend this back one block. Which means I gotta cut all this, I gotta chop all this down and then extend this out by one wool block. Alrighty, and it's getting dark, so I guess I should go to bed. And now I don't have a bed because I just broke this bed. <laughs> Folks, I'll catch back up with you in a few, okay? Folks, just check it in with you. I am on my second tent here. We're uh, we're making per we're making some pretty good time. There's a few items I forgot, but it's uh, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Just had to go back and craft them. But uh, so we got the our first tent behind us that we'd already built. I've extended that by one block, and now I am working on the second tent. As soon as I get done with that third tent, I will check back in with you folks. So I am finished putting together the other two tents and extending our original tent. Not bad. Not bad. And in fact, I just realized I'm not completely done. Still got some gates to put up and we still got to get the flooring in let me i just want to give you just want to give you a progress update right so we still got to get some gates here so i'm not completely finished so i guess i'm fibbing a little bit but just kind of give you folks an idea what the inside will be we'll have barrels here for storage for the food to feed the animals and then right here will be where will be the animal crushers now folks just in case you don't know what an animal crusher is it is a one by two tall it's a two block tall hole and basically what you do is you, you get two of the animals in there then you feed them and you keep feeding them and then as they turn into adults they tend to end up crushing each other and it's due to entity cramming and what entity cramming is is when you get 24 entities in in a one block area the 25th entity will die off and so that will be the cow or the sheep or the pig and Folks, no baby animals will be crushed, okay? It's only adult animals that get crushed. So, great news, right? Great news. And then after they get crushed, their drops will fall into a hopper, and then that hopper will go into some kind of chest or barrel, you know, um, some some type of system to where we can go you know, grab the drops too as well. All right, folks, let me know in the comments if you're a little confused about an animal crusher. Very, very simple farm and beginner farm. But like I said, if, if you folks have any questions, let me know and I will do my best to answer. Thank you so much. Alrighty folks, welcome back. Now I am complete. I have completed the tents, at least the outside parts. Now what, what I need to figure out is 
what kind of flooring am I going to give them? Is it going to be a dirt floor, a stone floor, or a glass floor? But it's not going to be glass because we have no sand. So folks, it's either going to be stone or dirt. So I'm going to go back to my boxes and look at my inventory and see what I have. And uh, as soon as I figure out what type of floor I'm going to give the inside of these tents, I will, um, that's when I'll uh, see you folks back, okay? See you soon. Oh, and, and by the way, folks, if you made it this far in the video, if you made it this far in the video, why not consider subscribing and uh, dropping a like and, uh, you know, leaving a comment too as well. It's all up to you, folks. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. All right, folks, I got a quick update for you. So I believe I, I, have a, I have a plan. What is that plan? Well, first of all, I realized, I didn't realize, but we do need to make 15 hoppers, okay? And I, I do have enough, I do have enough iron for that, some iron ingots for that. So we're gonna make 15 hoppers. And I believe what we're gonna also do is we're gonna out, we're gonna outline the floors with, let me just show you. And when I mean the floor, I mean this part here. And basically th this part here is probably gonna be cobblestone, okay? Cause that, that's an easy block to get. But this part, okay, we are gonna make, I just want to show you folks we're gonna do with the cobble deep slate and why I have so much of it here I only have a I, I have very little up here but down in the you know at the bottom of the mine here we, we got a we got a ton of this stuff so I what I want to do though is the outline the floor is probably gonna be I'm probably gonna go with I'm gonna go with some deep slate tiles either some deep slate tiles or deep deep slate bricks I'm going to need you folks to stick around and when I get this all sorted out and I give you an update, you'll, you'll see what floor I go with. All right. See you soon. Folks, welcome back. So it looks like I got the first animal crusher completed. Well, as far as the build, we still got to move the animals over, but minor details, minor details. Let me take it through what I've actually done. And folks, this rudimentary stairwell is going to be temporary. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with the other part, but this is where we'll collect all our items. And if you come into here, look at this, folks. Look at the deep slate tiles. Just absolutely fabulous. I mean, they just, they look so good. Look at that. Deep slate tiles. How great is that? How great is that? Let me know in the comments what you think. And so, so right here, we'll have some water here and then the animals will be here and uh, we'll keep feeding them. They'll die due to entity cramming and that barrel in front of the tent that I showed you will fill up with the drops. So absolutely fabulous, folks. I'm gonna finish the other two and then I'm gonna get back to you, folks, all right? See you soon. All right, folks, I am back to update you. So now I am finished with the floor, the three holes in each tent, and now we are to the step where we gotta get the animals inside the tents now. That is going to be a challenge, folks, but I have a good idea. I think, well, I think it's a good idea anyway. So what, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to take two animals and I'm going to put them inside the tent, okay? And then I'm going to start breeding them, and then hopefully the babies just fall into the holes, alrighty? So I'm going to try to get that going. I'm going to get two animals in each tent, and then I'm going to get back, and I'm going to get back to you folks, and I'm going to update you on that, okay? Thank you. Folks, great news. All my carrots grew, so I just harvested them all, and now we're going to replant them all, and it looks like I have enough carrots to fill out the carrot farm. Absolutely fabulous. We'll see you soon. All right, folks. So I was able to get three pigs into the tent behind me, as you can tell. There's two there. Let's uh, turn around and see what we got in there. Uh, as, I was br as I was luring the pigs in with the carrots, I made a baby, so they breeded, so there's three in there. Uh, I think we got a problem though because the sheep and the cows, they both eat wheat. So I, I think I'm gonna have to, don't tell them, but I, I think I'm gonna have to ax a few just to, so I don't have as many so I don't, you know, I don't get confused on how many to bring, how many to bring into the tents because we don't want to get too many in there because then it's just going to be difficult and uh, I might, you know, 
have a big disaster on my hands here with too many, like a sheep and a cow inside the cow tent. You know, that's what we don't want. Alrighty. So let, let me work out this little problem I have for you folks and uh, I'll update you here in a few. All right. See you soon. Folks, just a quick update. Just want to tell you how I'm doing this. So what I did is I let two adult cows out. I bred them. And then I lured the baby into the tent that's right behind me. So now we got one baby in there. So my plan is to keep breeding these two cows until we get six cows, two in each hole, into the tent behind me. Yeah, th this is going to take a little bit. All right, folks. I am back. I just, uh, let me show you how I put in uh, the baby cow here. So I bred the baby cow, brought him in here, okay? Sealed up these two holes, and now we have one down there. So my plan is to let two more adult calves out and to breed them, right? And then we'll get the baby in that hole. And then we'll seal this up and we'll just repeat the process for number two and number three. All righty? Folks, as soon as I get done with the cows, I will be back here to update you. You are a stubborn one. Get in the hole. Folks, as you can see, uh... I'm still working on the cow cow crusher here, but uh, we're slowly getting there. We're slowly getting there. I'll be back to update you. There we go. Look at that, folks. <laughs> three down, three to go. <laughs> not, not bad, not bad. <laughs> Check back in with you soon. Welcome back. So I got two baby cows in there, and I got one cow into the hole, and I got one more to get in there. And it's, I just wanted to show you how difficult it is to lure them into that hole just fall in the hole please just fall in there there we go look at that we got two in there and you i don't care if you go in there or not it would be nice though let's see if we can get them pushed in folks i'm not gonna lie this was a very tedious job very tedious job but folks we got it so we got three baby cows in there two baby cows in there and well, I'm glad I checked. See, folks? I do make mistakes. We need to get one more baby cow in there. <laughs> which is fine. Which is fine. We'll get that one more in there. I thought I already had two in there, which is fine, okay? Folks, I will be right back, all right? I'm just going to get that last baby cow in here, and then we can call the cow tent crusher complete. All righty? I'll be back in a little bit. As you can see, I have my last baby cow. Come on, little guy. Come to your new home. And as you... Ooh, look at that. That cow grew up, so that's an adult cow now. But now we just need to go in there. You just need to go in there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Help me finish this off, little buddy. There we go, folks. We are done. Oh, that was... Oh, man. <laughs> I cannot believe how tedious that was. But, folks, awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. So, the cow tent crusher is complete. And let me just turn around here and it's not fully complete, but it's the tedious parts are complete. And so now what we do is we'll, we'll drop a little water down there. They'll, they'll bounce up and then we put like a fence post here, here, and here. And uh, I might do something a little bit different than a fence post. I'm not too sure at this point. But uh, yeah, those things... Those things we'll be able to figure out. And generally, folks, I, I like to uh, kind of finish things up in my live uh, streams that I do. So at this point for this episode, the cow tent crusher is complete. Because, we again, we still got to feed the uh, these cows here. We got to let them grow up and then we got to feed them the wheat so they can continue to grow. And then we can get 24 adult cows in there. And then by the next time we feed them again, the entity cramming will take take over and then that's when we'll start getting the drops into our barrel below us alrighty folks I'm gonna get going on the sheep now and then I will update you as soon as uh as soon as I get a few sheep in there okay we'll see you soon thank you yes another update folks as you can see I have two adult sheep behind me which have allowed me to make a baby Now we have two baby sheeps in there. So two down, four to go, my friends. I'll be back to update you. I'm waiting till the cooldown period 
ends for these two sheep so uh, then I can breed them to lure the baby into the sheep tent pressure. Now folks, the two, the two adults here, they have no idea what I'm doing, so please, please don't let them know. We'll talk to you soon. Folks, it's almost sleep time. Almost sleep time, and now it's snowing. <laughs> oh, what a tedious job this is. But I have to say, the two, the two adult sheep I hit, have here are just absolutely loyal to me. Look at them. They just, they just don't want to move. It, it must be my good looks. It must be my good looks. Folks, it's going to get dark here in a, about a minute or so. I'm going to take a nap, and then uh, we're going to get that baby baby sheep into uh, into that hole there to the right, into the sheep tent crusher. All right, we'll see you soon. All right, folks, I am up, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'll feed these. Uh, I'll feed them, okay? They make the baby. Come on. There's the baby, and then the baby chases me because I have the sh I have the, uh, the the wheat, hopefully. And what I try not to do is get the adult in here. And see how see this is the problem I've been having. So what I do sometimes is I literally slaughter the two adults just to get the baby in here. Sometimes, okay, folks. So I'm going to sit here and struggle with this, and then I will get back with you folks, alrighty? Talk with you soon. Folks, it looks like I got the baby in here, and that center one is so difficult, but ah, oh, we did it. We did it. We got one in there. Now we just need to get the second one in there. Looks like we got a baby pig out here. So we're just going to go ahead and try to put the baby pig where it needs to be. All right. Come on. Come on, little buddy. Come on. We got a little home for you right in here. Yeah, there you go. Oh, this is this is this is on the fly, folks. So we got we got pretty lucky here. Boom. Now we got two in there. That is absolutely awesome. OK, see, folks, that's the thing. You got to be ready to. To, to switch up the plan in Minecraft. That's just how it works sometimes. So now what we'll do is we'll cover that up. That's done. And then we'll open this hole up. But then for the next two baby pigs. In the meantime, I'm going to get back to the sheep here, okay? We'll talk to you soon. Folks, we got lucky. There's a pig out, but that's fine. But we got two babies. Come on. Come on. Close. Okay, we got him. We got him. All right, now... We just need to, we literally just need one in there. There we go. We got one in there. And let's try to get the other one in here in the last hole. Come on, buddy. You got a new home right in here. Come on, foot. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I know. I know it's tough. You can do it. Get in here. Okay, folks. He, he's, the, he just, I think he knows what's going on. He definitely knows what's going on. But that's okay. We're going to force him in there. This is what we'll do. We'll go like this. Come on. Come on. You can do it. All right, folks. I'm going to keep struggling with this, and I will update you folks here in a little bit, okay? Talk to you soon, folks. Bad news. It's really difficult to get the sheep in the hole when they're an adult. The sheep grew before my eyes. So, unfortunately, I'm going to go back in there, and either it's going to get axed or it's going to fall in the hole. Either way. It's probably not going to be, the sheep's probably not going to be happy. Just wanted to give you an update, folks. Nice, I was able to push the sheep into the hole. Folks, look, we got our last baby sheep. And we got a few minutes before uh, the sheep grows up too. So hopefully we can get this sheep into its new home, which is right back here. Come on, little sheepy. We got so lucky getting that adult sheep in there. I, I don't even know how I got that in there. It was I barely got that in there, folks. All right, folks, here we go. I'm going to keep you with me until we get this sheep in here, just so you can see how much I struggle trying to get this sheep in here. 
And it, it just, it's absolutely ridiculous sometimes. Come on. Bye bye. So see, then I see, then it runs away from the hole. <laughs> and folks, just in case you're wondering, Vigil, why aren't you using a lead? I don't have one. All right, I don't have a lead, and I I did find some some slime balls to make a lead, but I don't have enough string to make the lead. And I do have one lead, but I'm using it for the fox. And the fox, it's just hard to hold on to the fox. So we need, we're going to keep the fox on the lead, okay? So that's why I'm struggling here, folks. Just in case you were wondering. All right, guys, come on. All right, it's dark time. Hey, you know it's dark time. It's dark time. Let's get in here, folks. I'm going to go take a nap, and I will get right back to you. All right, early morning, folks. Let's see if we can get this baby sheep into its home, into its new little home. Yes, that little hole. Come on. Come on. Yeah, we're all the way here. Thank you. And then I'm going to push you. All right, folks, I'm going to... There you go! Yay! I was just getting ready to cut over to something else. But guess what, folks? There we go. We are done. The sheep tent is pretty much complete. All we got to do now is just feed them and let the entity cram in do its work. Folks, absolutely fabulous stuff. Now we just need to finish the pig. Pig crusher, okay? I'll meet you over there in a little bit. Folks, welcome back. I got exciting news. All three crushers are completed. Well, at least all three crushers are completed as far as moving the animals into them. So absolutely fabulous, folks. This is absolutely fabulous. Why? I'm so relieved. You have no idea how tedious that was. <laughs> folks, I'm just going to drop this bucket of water in there. And then as far as moving animals into the tent crushers, the animal tent crushers, we will finally be done. I am so happy. Oh boy, so let's go ahead and just got a cloth lad in there. Now, the, the reason why we put water at the bottom, it it makes the animals bob up and down, so it's it's just easier to feed them. So, that's what we do there. So folks, so here we go. We got the tent, we got the pig tent crusher. Right here, right here, nice, nice, nice. Now again, folks, we still gotta feed the, we still gotta feed them and get the population up. But that we can we could do that off camera or in one of my lives. So no big deal there. Then over here we have the cow tent crusher right here. Nice, nice, nice. I like it. And I have been feeding these cows in between uh feedings and moving the animals into there. So that this one's, you know, it, we don't have 24 yet, but we're getting there. And then last but not least, we have the tent sheep crusher. Okay, we have water, we have the pig, not the pig, sorry, we have the sheep in here. And what's great, folks, so here we're going to get raw mutton, okay, and we're going to get white sheep blocks. White, did I, okay, did I say white sheep blocks? That, that, that's not what we're going to get. We're going to get raw mutton, and we're going to get white wool. Absolutely fabulous, okay? Nice, nice, nice. I'm really happy about that. And then over here at the tent cow crusher, we're going to get leather, and we're going to get raw beef. And then over here, we're just gonna get raw pork chops. And of course, you know, folks, we'll have to we'll have to cook that up. But now we can bring that back to our mining resting area, and we can cook it up in our cooker. So, not a problem there, folks. Not a problem, folks. I am absolutely excited that we got this done today. And folks, if you made it this far, I really appreciate you watching my video today. Thank you so much. And please, please look out for episode number six. And just to give you folks a heads up, I do do lives on this world every weekend right now. And, uh, and I'll let you know if anything changes on that. But I do like to do, uh, you know, I like to gather resources and make plans and whatnot during my lives. And also try to, you know, try to uh, talk with you folks and uh, have a great time as well during the live show so I, I i really think that's awesome stuff but folks i am going to go ahead and end it here and i just want to say thank you for watching and please please look out for episode six i'll see you soon y'all take care now bye bye folks before you go before you go one last thing let me let me turn around here
The care farm's looking pretty good, right? Right? Care farm's looking good. All right, folks, you take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.